We want to solve for x in the equation 9 and 2 tenths x minus 80 and 1 tenth equals 21 and 3 tenths x minus 19 and 6 tenths. The first thing to note is that we have terms with x in them on both sides of the equation. So one thing we can do is to subtract 9 and 2 tenths x from both sides of this equation in order to end up with our x terms on the same side. So that means we're going to have 9 and 2 tenths x minus 80 and 1 tenth minus 9 and 2 tenths x equals 21 and 3 tenths x minus 19 and 6 tenths minus 9 and 2 tenths x. On the left hand side of the equation, these two terms will subtract out to give us 0, leaving us with negative 80 and 1 tenth. That will equal, we'll go ahead and combine the 21 and 3 tenths x minus 9 and 2 tenths x. That's going to give us a result of 12 and 1 tenth x. And then we have our minus 19 and 6 tenths, which will move down into the next step. Now we like to isolate the terms that have an x in them. So that means we're going to add 19 and 6 tenths to both sides of this equation. So in our next step, we'll have a negative 80 and 1 tenth plus 19 and 6 tenths equals 12 and 1 tenth x minus 19 and 6 tenths plus 19 and 6 tenths. On the left hand side of the equation, we'll combine these two numerical values to give us a negative 60 and 5 tenths. On the right hand side of the equation, we'll subtract the 19 and 6 tenths and then add the 19 and 6 tenths. These two combine to give us a 0, which leaves us with our 12 and 1 tenth x. Now what we're able to do is note that in order to solve for x, we see that we're, we are multiplying by 12 and 1 tenth. We can undo the multiplication by using division. So we'll end up having negative 60 and 5 tenths divided by 12 and 1 tenth equals our 12 and 1 tenth x divided by 12 and 1 tenth. On the left hand side, a negative number divided by a positive number is going to be a negative result. We have 60 and 5 tenths divided by 12 and 1 tenth, which gives us a result of 5. On the right hand side, we end up dividing out our coefficient to leave us with our variable x. And so the solution set for this equation is the set including the value negative 5.